All right, here we go. All right, so this should be a big grade booster, I hope, for many of you. You should do well. They're two points apiece. All right, so what's the total? Yeah. How are they having a question? It should include. The last one was dead. It should be knowing. Oh, well, no, it's not that hard. It's not, they're not that hard. There are some good oxidation number questions in there. Wait, what? So like, are we learning that today? Let me ask you this, Mary. <laughs> Helen. Now nah, she's more confused. All right, Helen. What's the charge that calcium takes? That's the oxidation. Oh. That's the question. Those are like gimme. The first ten are like gimme. The first ten are like gimme. You can use a periodic table, yes. You can use one. Crazy, my ball. All right. So, a little bit about bond enthalpy. Um, we need to know that it's always going to be positive. We have a big delta H, going to be a strong bond. For example, uh, this guy, positive one. 49 kilojoules per mole, breaking down the I2 bond into two I minuses. Two I minuses. All right. So, atomization. All right, atomization. Uh, the process of bringing a molecule into its individual atoms. So we have to look at what the values are of all of the bonds and figure out how we're going to get it into atoms. Uh, somebody explain to me what I got going on over here. Why do I have this lovely carbon thing with four dots? It has four valence. Four valence. Ah, so it has four valence. Very good. Hydrogen has one. Chlorine has seven. All right, when they're bonded, they all have complete what over here? Uh, octets. Okay, complete octets. So if I was asking you, I said, oh man, oxygen needs how many electrons to complete its octet? What would you tell me? Two. Two. If I told you calcium has to do what to get a complete octet, what would you tell me? Lose two. Lose two. two. All right, very good. All right, that, those are some of the... Because I'm in the middle of recording my lecture. All right, and now you're interrupting it. All right, methyl chloride. All right, methyl chloride um, or chloromethane. We kind of know how to name that already. All right, delta H for a given bond. The CH bond varies a little between compounds. CH bonds and CH4 versus so and CH3, CH2 have about the same delta H. All right, a little bit about uh, this. You know, I always put these in here. Why? Because of the, the AP questions that you get, right? They're like, oh, and this was a refrigerant, blah, 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 blah. And it really just is asking you how to solve for bond enthalpy. You know, so you put the all, it gives you all that background stuff. So should we skip that? It really doesn't mean anything to the problem. All right, uh, change the page number, change it to the chart that you just picked up right here. That chart right there. All right, so it's going to be on this chart. All right, specific, uh, specific bonds have been tabulated to find the bond enthalpy for atomization. Add up the bond enthalpies for each bond broken. Calculate the bond enthalpy for the atomization of dichloromethane. See if you can do that real quick. Dichloromethane. Or, yeah, dichloromethane. There's your formula. Dichloromethane. Let's see if you can calculate the energy. Now to use the table. You can't do it without the table. I don't even have those memorized. Got to use the Did you pick up the table?
All right, you ready? Let's try this. How many CCL bonds do I have? Two. Two times its bond energy. All right, what do we have for a C and a CL? 339. Map team, 680 minus 2. 678. 678. All right. Good job, math team. All right. Okay, do we have any other bonds? How many? We have two of those. What is the energy for C and an H? 413. All right, math team, 820 plus 6. What you, uh, 826, there you go. Wait, is that relevant or is that just? What, math I just took 410 plus 410, 820 plus 6. Math team. All right, so we need the total. All right, can anybody give me the total of this math team? All right, 1504. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Oh, we had a little bit different value. We had the 339. That's okay. That's okay. That's my old, that's the other book I have. Okay. All right. You can do Hess's Law and tabulated uh, bond enthalpies. Obviously, we're using the ones that, whatever ones you're given. We're given these, so we're going to do it. The bond's broken minus the bond's form. So what does that sound like? Bonds broken. Where are we going to break bonds? The reactants. Where are we going to form bonds? So this one's a little different. A little different. So hopefully you have that right now. It's a little bit different. All right. It's not just products minus reactants, right? So, what I want you to do is the next example. Combust some propane. What's the formula for propane, people? No. Okay. All right, how do you combust something? Burning an oxygen, what are you going to make? All right, do it. Balance it. And let's see what you can get. Let's see what you can get. C3H1. C3H1. Probe, meth, eth, probe, C3, saturated with hydrogens. How many you got? Because you know what, if I was doing it, I would draw it out, right? Think about it. I'm going to have to draw this out. All right, so here's my formula, but that means nothing to me. Why does that not mean anything to me? What? Why did I wait to do this until now? Here's the reason. You don't know what you, how many bonds you have and what kind. So you have to draw it out. All right? The good news is you never have to draw it out on AP. But for this, you do. All right? Plus 5. What is O2? You got to do the... What's O2? How do you put it together? You got to do the formula. It's the molecular geometry for it. You got to put it together. What's the Lewis structure of this? All right. O. O. Boom. 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 Okay. So, wait a minute. That changes things a lot. If I had O to O, double bond. Oh, double, double, double. I got to look down at my multiple bonds because it's not going to be the same as the one up top, which doesn't even really show you it bonding together anyway. So, yes, it does. 146. All right. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing for uh, water. What is water going to look like? I have four of these things. Four. What? What? What's it look like? 
All right. Got to make sure you have that. And then I have to have three carbon dioxides. What does carbon dioxide look like? C double bond for two A's. I'll make that what I think you are trying to say. All right. So now don't forget, if I have five of these, I have five of them. Right? If I have four of waters, that means I have eight OH bonds. All right, so see if you can calculate it out. You can still calculate it out even though you may not have the notes wherever they may be. I got on the left, 6475. You're going to probably be off because I think you used uh, 346, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget that CC bond in the middle. Got those CC bonds. All right. I think you're going to use 346 here. So it's going to be, if I take four off, you probably got 6471. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right, so that's going to change it. I'll adjust it for you. 498 and 396. So I'm going to lose 4, but I'm going to gain 15. So minus 4, 71, 64, 86. What do you think? That better? All right, all right. Is anybody doing it? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. All right, 6486 broken. All right, who can tell me what they have for formed? Yep. All right, let's check it out. Formed. All right, so probably had a, a little different of a value, right? Okay, but as long as you're in that ballpark, 6475, what did you say it was? 8,096, what did I do different? Yeah, but what did I do different? Um, C double bond O. I had 732. Okay, there you go. Yep. All right, so I had 732 listed here. 732, 463 is the same. Yes. Number. So this is, okay. So what you're going to do is what minus what? All right, so this 
minus this. Don't get that wrong, please don't get that wrong. All right, or whatever you have, but don't get that wrong. It's the only time you do it backwards. Everything else we do, delta S, delta G, delta H, is always going to be products minus reactants. In bond enthalpy, it's going to be broken minus formed. It's easy. I don't want you to mess it up. All right, it's easy. I just don't want you to mess it up. Okay. All right. All right, bond length. All right, bond length. All right, the center to center distance between two bonded atoms, fairly constant for a given bond, no matter the compound, etc. Average bond lengths are tabulated. All right, this again, 1.54 angstroms, 1.39, and it has different amounts of energy. This is supposed to show you as the number of bonds, multiple choice, as the number of bonds between two atoms increases, Bond length decreases and bond enthalpy increases. Multiple bonds are stronger, they're gonna have a higher bond enthalpy, okay? You should just be able to look and say, if I have a carbon-carbon single bond versus a nitrogen-nitrogen triple bond, the triple bond is gonna have more energy. And those are questions, those are like those questions they ask you to explain, right? Heat loss to the surroundings. Stuff like that. Well, the C triple bond C is going to have more energy. You don't have a value, but you you should know that, all right? You don't know these values off the top of your head. You just have to know this statement, all right? This statement. And don't worry, page three twenty nine. Don't worry about that. Okay. I think that's it.